What's up, Mufus? Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. This is a fan-made game, not affiliated with Pokemon in any way, shape, or form. And I am here to play it. Now, if you're a long-time viewer of the channel, you, um... You've seen a couple Pokemon series, you've seen a couple Nuzlocke's, um, and you've probably seen a trend where I don't finish any, um, I don't finish any series I start. I'm not gonna make the promise that I'm gonna finish this series. We're gonna play it as long as I'm having fun with it, enjoying it. We'll see where it goes from there. I'm gonna really try to not care about the views and just maybe, you know, make, make the content. I'm here to make the content, and this is what we're going to do. So, here we are playing Pokemon Insurgents. It's very exciting. It's a fan-made game. Um, Non-profit. I, I don't think there's any, you know, monetary or fiscal issues here. So, um, we're going to play it. I I don't have it set up to do any randomization or anything like that. Here's the fun part. Okay. It is a... It is a new story in a new region. Uh, I don't know if there are any new Pokemon, but there are things called Delta types. And these Delta types have um, are, are the same Pokemon like like a, a dark poison Charmander or something like that. You know what I mean? So here we are. And just to get you guys caught up on the five seconds of story that I had before I could save the game. Um, I'm a prisoner um, in the prison of this cult of the Darkrai. There's this cult, and they uh, worship Darkrai, and they're going to sacrifice me. They were using Gengar uh, to eat my dreams, uh, probably using the move Dream Eater, and because uh, I know a thing or two. And uh, here we are in this prison cell. Mew saved my life. Hype. And, uh, yeah, so there's, there's also this, everyone is aware of this cult, and there's this man named Augur, and he was the valiant protector of the Tauren region, and, uh, he's recently gone missing, presumed possibly dead, um, it's a whole thing. So I haven't really, I haven't walked out this door yet, um, that doesn't do anything. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go. A potion, dope. So if I if I check my Pokemon, do I own Mew right now? I have a level 65 Mew. Rocking Psychic Barrier, Ancient Power, Amnesia. Yeah, that ought to be good. That ought to be good for getting me out of here. Um. Cults of the Tauren region. Would you like to read it? Sure, let's read. The Tauren region, as far as we know, has always been under the threat of different legendary worshipping cults. There are five cults in currently in power. The cult of Darkrai, Abyssal Cult, Infernal Cult, Sky Cult, and a group simply called Perfection. All of these cults are extremely dangerous and should be treated with extreme caution. Why is this book in the cult house? Okay. And I've messed with... Oh... Mew is invis. Oh my gosh, a vat of poison. With a fingerprint scanner. They're high tech up in here. Mew is holding a small note. My name. I chose Mew to help you out of this mess due to its special ability. It is able to use transform to change its form and disguise itself as something else. However, unlike Diddle, Mew may transform you as well. If you can find DNA, Mew can disguise you as someone else. You should be able to use this to escape. As, uh, oh, the base. Your benefactor. Why do I have a benefit? Oh my gosh. Where are we? Oh no. Oh yeah, by the way, I've chosen the dark story, so there will be blood. Let's just go quick. 
There's dreaded blood splattered on the ground. DNA of Darkrai cultist. Oh no. Oh snap! I'm Darkrai! Does that mean I have his fingerprints too? Yes, sir! <gasps> A golden Darkrai! It's cold to the touch and you feel tired just by standing around it. You know what's scary about this is like... Um... Darkrai is real, right? So like, he could potentially be like part of this cult or something, you know? Like, it's not that far-fetched to say that. He could actually be helping these people out and, like, hyping them up and stuff. Which is scary. I kind of like that the items are displayed. Shouldn't you be getting ready for sacrifice along with everyone else? Oh. He turns away. My homie turned away from me. Also, I'm not holding run. Um, it's just, it's just, yeah, I'm just going. I'm just quick. Persephone finally decided to give the summoning of Darkrai another try. Last time it just flew away. How does she know that that's not going to happen again? I'll see you guys later. I'm on a new wave. Burn heal, burn heal. I like how fast I'm moving. The boys are up here, and so we begin. Miss, please, you can't do this. I don't want to die. You swore when you joined that you would give your life for us. How is this any different? Activate the ritual circle. Oh my gosh, is it gonna... Darkrai, Lord of Darkness, I call upon you to enter our world. In return, I offer you the soul of this loyal servant to be bound to the world of nightmares forever. Vaco Virtutem Umbrarum Dominium. Darkrai, the Lord of Nightmares, you are the great balancer of the world. You punish the great, slay the immortal. It's been a year since I saw you last. You remember what occurred then? We accomplished something incredible that day. I thought you... I thought finally you had accepted our offer to join us, but you fled soon after, never to be seen again. But now I call upon you again. Darkrai, will you not join me? I know my sister has sent you time and time again. Why do you favor her over me? I beseech you, Darkrai, join me. Join the cult that has worshipped you for so long. With my guidance and your power, the world will be ours. Well, isn't that just lovely? It's probably gone off to Selene City to see my sister again. What a waste of a grunt. And what do you two want, exactly? Miss, please, I'm confident that if we had another try, we could trap Darkrai here. We don't know why it didn't work this time, but if you'll just give us another chance, get out of my way. Fire Blast! Oh no. I'm I'm going to check on the prisoner. None of you had better follow me. I am the prisoner. Um how do I get out of here? I'm not really interested in and uh, sticking around personally. Maybe now that I'm a cultist I can uh, leave. Oh, no. Maybe I can, yeah, I can go this way now. Okay, I see. Shade forest. Oh, wow, we're just, we're just chilling in this beautiful, just chilling in this beautiful forest. Is this wa grass wild? Can I encounter? No. Uh, yeah, and we're not gonna play by any special rules or anything like that. Um. We're just chilling, playing the game for fun. So, here we go. Nidoran! What's up, Nidoran? Let's go! <laughs> I can't get that. Okay, Nidoran again. You know what? I This isn't my Mew, so we're not going to bother training. There's a small flute in another note in Mew's hands. Obtain the coarse flute. This flute lets you call upon Mew when needed. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck, your benefactor. Oh, Mew's out of here. 
I could swear I saw Mew here just now. Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon is floating really close to you. Nope. Well, I could swear I... My name is Damien. I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are Raz. Got it. You came to Telnor Town at a perfect time. The Augur, the greatest man in the world, of course, is coming today. You know who the Augur is, right? Yes, I do. Of course you do. Who wouldn't? <laughs> He's the only the most amazing person ever. And the mayor of the townsfolk is preparing his memory. I'm excited. Just arrive right there before he arrives. I know. Why don't you help out? Excuse you. It's not my job. We're assigning jobs in the town hall. You know, cleaning and so on. Yo, what about this Pikachu? Pikachu! I'm Pokemonless now. Oh, okay. I guess, I suppose. It's a convenience store chain that can be found in any Pokemon Center, just like the one here. The center is an important place for any trainer to know. You can heal your Pokemon, buy things, or even buy new clothes. <gasps> buy new clothes. Five Pokeballs! Throw these at wild Pokemon to catch them! Yo, I kind of want a Nidoran, though. Can I go get a Nidoran? Ah, uh, well, let me go get one. I guess I'll get a starter, eh? I kind of feel bad for Damien. All the other kids in town got a Pokemon and left, but he wasn't allowed to. People call him the Augur, but that's not quite right. He's actually the second Augur. The first one retired a while ago. Oh, good. I'm learning, you know? Who is this guy? Are you a trainer? If you want to succeed, you need to be ready for anything. Oh, thanks, man. These potions let you heal. Pokemon even, even in battle. Is there like a... Here we go. Oh, snap. Alright. Hello, I'm Professor Sylvan. I'm the professor in this town. I suppose you want to start your Pokemon adventure. Most of the other kids in the neighborhoods have already gotten their Eevee from me and he headed to the North Trainer School in Midna Town. You have to wait a little bit, though. The town is busy preparing for the Augur's arrival, and so am I. Why don't you come back later? Right on. I do want an Eevee. That sounds nice. I, I've always wanted an Umbreon, but I've never been um, enough of a gamer to get one. So maybe, maybe this can be the time I finally get one. Yo, what's up, Pops? I'm going to draw the Augur a portrait when he's here. After all, everyone is supposed to give him a gift. I'm not prepared for the Augur's arrival. Is there... Um... I missed something? We're assigning jobs in the town hall. Yeah, did you hear the Augur's coming to town? He's like the leader of the region. I heard he has a Salamance. That's dope. Professor Sylvan gives Eevee to young trainers as a starting Pokemon. While it's a bit boring by itself, Eevee is special because it evolves into so many different things. I don't know, though. I wouldn't evolve my Eevee if I caught it. I just have a feeling there'd be a reward for somewhere for keeping it as it is. Uh, is that a Pikachu reference? Maybe this way? What the heck? Where am I supposed to go? I talked to everybody. Most of the gyms in the Torn region are based around a theme rather than a type. For example, Xavier... Is the in the leader in Vipic City has a forest themed gym, which means it uses both poison and bug types. And trust me, you don't even know what the elite forest team looks like. Interesting. The Augur's coming to old Telner Town. This is amazing. He's a world renowned hero. Great. Uh, where is he? Literally like 20 minutes later. Well, here he is. How was I supposed to know to walk this way? <laughs> what the heck? Finished cleaning the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Raz. He's outside to help offer, too. Offer help, too. Nice to meet you, Raz. Well, Damien, I think you're pretty well finished. As long as you have the gift for Aug already, I think you're done. You do have a gift, right? Oh, uh, well, um, I may have forgotten. Uh, of course you have. You better find one, and fast. I heard you can find a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, absolutely not. Not a chance. No, Damien is not ready for a Pokemon. He's just a child. Uh, wow. Bianca vibes. Am I right, guys? Mom, please. Everyone in the town already got Pokemon and left. And you're not going to follow them. You'll get yourself killed. Why don't... Why do you care? <laughs> it's not like... Oh, oh! It's not like you're my real mother or anything. I raised you since birth! You're not capable of raising a plant, let alone a Pokemon. You're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't even... That's enough of you two. You're embarrassing us. You said your name was Raz. I'm sure you've handled a Pokemon before. We'll lend you both in... We'll lend one to you... Both you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest cave and find him a gift for the Augur? Wonderful. I'm very grateful. 
That's settled. Raz will help Damien the gift of an auger. And Damien shows responsibility. Perhaps he can keep the Pokemon afterwards. Well, how does that sound? Fine, he won't, though. Who is this girl? Who is this mom? Raz, let's go. I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. She's a bunch of Eevee of the day from her days as a trainer. The lab is just the southeast corner of the town. I'll see you there. I really hope I don't mess this up. Hey, Raz, thanks for agreeing to do this with me. It really means a lot. Okay. So... That was a little odd. That it was such a specific way to walk around in there. Listen, Professor, these Pokemon, they're freaks. No other trainer would want them. We can't keep them any longer. All I want is for you to take them. You already keep a bunch of EV as is. Surely these three won't be a bother. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true, I'm merciless. I've done some awful things. But there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Um, hello. Oh, I'm Damien. And this is Raz. We're here to get Pokemon so we can go to the forest safely. Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them in. And they're sure to die in the wild. If you want them, we can just give them to these kids, right? Put them on the table. Very well. Excuse me, please. Today, she must. So you two are in need of a Pokemon. Yes, ma'am. I see. That man that was in here just now, he's one of my colleagues in university. He's a smart man, a great scientist. He's also the leader of the Cult of Perfection. Oh, no. A cult leader. Those people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone be accepting gifts from them. Oh, the walk. Let... Tell me, Damien Raz. Have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? Uh... Delta Species are different type variants of the same Pokemon. Well, I have it. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon in the Holland region, far away. They're Pokemon that have a different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. An example would be an Electro-type Dragonite or a Water-type Porygon. These Pokemon that on the table now are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle. They're scientific marvels. I would love to keep one to study. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start off on your journey. However, it seems there are three more options for you to choose from, so I'll offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon I tr to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. If you want an Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. Raz, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon being made by a murderer, but I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left all alone forever. You can pick, but hurry up. We don't even know when the auger is driving. Um, so it sounds like you actually could pick a Eevee from her, but I don't want to do that. Fairy Psychic Type Bulbasaur. And there's Gender Variants. Okay. Ghost and Dragon Type Delta Charmander. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? What the heck, bro? Dark Fighting Type Delta Squirtle. I do really like the Dark Fighting Squirtle, but we're... I mean, come on, dude. Are you kidding me with this? The Skeleton Charizard? I couldn't... I couldn't possibly choose anything else. We will give a name to Charmander. His name will be... Barry. Barry. <gasps> Look at him, that is a little Charizard! Raz, I think you're right. I'm going to pick a Delta Pokemon, just like you. Hey, Raz, before we go out into the f Shade Forest, how about a battle? It'll be perfect time to test our new Pokemon. Let's go! I already know Twister. He knows Pursuit. <laughs> I lose. Oh, wait. He's going to let me win? No. Okay. Unlucky, bro. And that's the end of the Nuzlocke, guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe I could take on a gym one day. All right, here's the deal. Headed in the shade forest, the northern end of the forest is a really large cave. In the middle of that cave is a rare stone we're looking for. I'll meet you there, okay? Can I talk to you for a moment? Damien rushed off before I could give him one, but I'd like you to have this. Obtain the Pokédex. This is a Pokédex short for Pokémon Index. It's a co data collection of all the Pokémon that I give to trainers. If you see a Pokémon, it will be registered in the Pokédex. If you catch one, Pokédex will be full of data regarding that Pokémon. Anyways, now that you've gotten that... You should be all set to go on your adventure. Head up to the Telner Cave, deep in the forest. Be careful, good luck. Uh, 
All right, gang. I think that's a successful encounter. We have poke. What's? Can we? Can we get a look at him, Barry? He's Ghost Dragon. I can only imagine. Spirit Call powers up Ghost type moves in a pinch. He's hot on special defense and cool on regular defense. Now that that works out for Ghost types, I think, because Ghosts are like immune to physical. Or, um, not immune, but like fighting type and normal attack don't even hit them. I think so. It kind of works out. Um, I'm excited to use him. That sounds like a lot of fun. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to end the first episode here. Um, we're going to try to edit these episodes a little bit more uh, than previous Nuzlocks. Um, I've made it a little easier on myself by pre-rendering my little format here. Um, so it's all exciting. It's fun and new. Um, Genshin Impact stuff is still going to be on the channel, of course. That's the only thing getting views anyway. Um, I want to do something with Overwatch. I was thinking like, um, like, a patch notes from a bronze player kind of a thing where whenever there's patch notes, me, a bronze player can tell you how that's going to affect the average person. Cause you're going to get all these tier lists and stuff from people with Giga Chad, you know, top 500 players. And it makes no difference for us normals. Um, so I thought that could be something uh, that I could do because I'm a bronze player. And I play on controller, so, you know, even better. Um, yeah, okay, so that's the end of the first episode. We got ourselves a dark type, uh, excuse me, a ghost dragon Charizard. So very excited for the future. We'll go ahead and save it up. Overwrite that save. You can press V to quick save. Because this game is advanced. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.